You, you never know what you'll find in the universe of my mind. You're not fair. Okay. dry enough. Okay. Uh, reinforce the bits between. my colorless blender and It's either the silver or the cream and white. Whoops. Where did you go? Where did you go and how'd you get the big one? Leaning towards the white mostly because it's the one you see the best. Then again, maybe it's a good thing if you don't see it too well. Uh, if I can, I'm gonna go with that one just because. No, I changed my mind again. Uh, silver. Okay. I need to poke a hole, of course. As you can see, I'm not being super precise and all that. I'm just now the door needs some shading. This is Tuscan red in a Laurentian colored pencil. I don't know if Laurentian still makes pencils, but I hope they do because for the longest time they were my favorite. of pink at the top just to make it look yeah there we go just to make, give it some dimension to it huh? okay good now I need a hinge of course I think one would suffice I kind of like it to be fancy, but I don't really know how to do fancy. Oh, the bulbs. I thought I 
had a silver sharpie, but apparently I don't. He must have ran out and I put it in the garbage. So instead I'm going to use a glitter pen, the almost black gray. There's some shading. I'm doing both sides just because my, my brain, I'm not sure how well it's going to work. Okay. Make a bit of an accordion fold type thing. Looks a bit like a W. I don't know how to show you with this camera. This is blurry, but I'm going to do that and I'm going to change my mind on the color of this and then turn it black. I'm going to glue. I dot of glue there. This is fiddly. It's a fiddly bit. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and see how it looks tomorrow. I'm going to clean up some of that mess first. So that's it for today. I will do some more tomorrow or next time. So that was day 12. Okay, it is Friday, March 1st, 2024, and it is day 13. So it's sort of like a Friday the 13th, but not exactly. Anyway, okay, so this is, this is how far I got with this yesterday. part on this uh, root okay and then when it is a little bit drier I will come and integrate it just a little bit better but this is how it's going to look. Okay, and I want to make a, a separate branch to put there. Similar idea to this. to resort to, to using a, a craft knife to sharpen it. That looks like a critter, like almost a, a, a giraffe or something. Okay. Oh yeah, that's much better. I like that much better. Awesome. Okay. Now I just need to color the other side. Okay, so I added some grass here too. And I glued that on, but you can lift that up and I can eventually uh, can hide a critter back there or something. 
And what I want to do now is make a little, make some small stones. Piece them together like a, a puzzle, sort of, back there. And I'm just going to choose different types of grays for the different stones. Nothing too fancy, really, just... Okay, and then I'll... I probably should have waited to do the shading part once they were glued on. Okay, then I'm going to cut those out and glue them on there, and then I'll be back. I made little grassy bits and glued them on. Next, I want to put that aside and Old gray. This is the almost black gray. Uh, I don't know what's splendor. And we'll blend in a little too much to the tree, probably. But I'll probably add it anyway. Maybe add a little bit more of the darker gray. And maybe some little bit of jade. Okay. Um, I'm going to lose Blender again. Get more. Shading. a bit off. Okay, and then do the same thing to the other side. 
because we're not sure where they're going, so we don't know what will show and what won't. Okay, this one had ginger root. I'm going to also put a little bit of limes, just limes. orange this one needs to be shaped a little bit better Let's go Tuscan Red. Color the Splendor. Regular pencil for just detailed lines, just details. And I'm going to change my mind like that. So I'm going to color this blender to incorporate that back in. Okay, I'm not happy with these. I... Okay, so I still don't love it, but better the ones I tried to do before. So I'm not going to make a whole lot of them, just maybe three. So basically what I did is I gave myself a little bit of a guideline shape. made some squiggly lines all along and then a few 
place this night. Another uh, vertical lines. And then I lightly went with 10% cold gray. Lightly with ginger root, then a few places I, I made some squiggly lines with light umber. And try to do some shading a little bit with light umber. And then also made some of these kinds of lines. Uh, and just some random bits and pieces here and there. Some dark brown. Little dots here and there, and lines, and especially the underside here. A line or two. A little bit of jade. Use the ten percent light gray again instead of a colorless blender. Um, hint of sienna brown here and there. I don't remember if I already added the jade or not, but and then cool gray from crane pencils. Just using whatever I have really. And just making some Dimensions like make it look like it's bumpy. And some regular pencil lines here and there. These look like seashells almost. And then some more of the 10% light gray, I mean cool gray, to kind of blend all that in again. And then just keep repeating the process until I'm happy with what I look, what I see. Just add in lines in the various colors and regular pencil. And I think I'm going to call this one almost done in a minute. that one up. And then on the underside I've decided that I'm going to do it differently but um, or on the back side um, so I'll come back in a bit. I'm going to color this one in and then cut them out and I'll be back. I'm much happier with these. They're 
it's still not perfect, but and on the underside, I'm just gonna I'm not really gonna do a really good job because most of them are it probably won't be seen, but just in case it ends up being seen a little bit. Just gonna do that. So uh ten percent gray. Bit of the darker gray, just willy nilly. A bit of the umber and ginger root. Okay, and then I'm just going to. Cover it with dark brown. Darker lines. I guess I am putting some some effort into it, but not really effort, but detail, I guess. And then I'm just going to Cover it a little bit better. And on the edges, make it darker. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll come back. Okay, I've got, I want to grease them up. Well, that's not very sticky either, really. Stick into what I don't want it to, but not to what I do want it to. Making um, this one too thick. Stack them too high, I guess is what I mean. Okay, and then I'm gonna glue.
the edge a little bit. for a few seconds because it doesn't want to stay. Now this one I don't want it raised. Just a little bit maybe. Put the glue on right away this time. Just because that's the part that attaches to the tree. does need a third one because the uh, rule of odd numbers, but I uh, can't decide where I want it. I'm not going to raise this one. going to put it right there. Okay, that's that part done. Okay, now I I didn't really do anything to this side, but I, like, except for this, and I think I just might leave it, at least for today. I'm using the brad to kind of tuck it in on the side here to hold the door in place a little bit better. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm not sure if that's it for today or not. <laughs>